and running. Here we go. Right. So, uh, welcome to tonight's webinar. I do apologise for that uh, slight technical glitch. Hopefully, uh, we'll survive till the end of, of the webinar now. Um, we should be about half an hour. And uh, tonight's webinar is called Grow Yourself to Grow Your Business. Uh, now, I'm recording this webinar. I record all the webinars. So, you can see there, there's a, a series of eight that I go through. And I, I try to do one a week, but uh, occasionally I miss one or if I'm away or something. So it might take kind of nine or ten weeks to do the whole lot. But they're all recorded, and um, I'll show you at the end of this webinar where the recordings are. So if anybody wants to catch up on a, a one that we've just done, say if you're particularly interested in, in team building or supporting team members, then you can go back. You don't have to wait another eight or nine weeks to, to get round to that one again. Um, so tonight, what are we going to talk about? So this is all about those intangible skills, I suppose you'd call them, that you probably don't learn just from kind of following the, the system, if you like, that, that your reply might show you. So you should know, if you've been in the business for more than a couple of weeks, how to put your catalogs out and, and, and how to build your customer base. Uh, you should know how to find and sponsor somebody into your team if you're if you're uh, planning to, to team build. But what other skills do you need? Surely, if if that's all it is, if it was just a case of putting some catalogs out and learning how to do that, and learning how to share the business with somebody else and learning how to do that, then then the most you know you must know everything that you need so everybody would be highly successful because it's very simple. But actually, there are some other skills that you need to, to really grow a, a large and successful business. And that's kind of what we're going to cover this evening. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the fact that you don't really need to reinvent the wheel. If you're starting this business and you've, you've, just, you've just joined, don't think, oh, crikey, I don't really know how to do this. I'm going to have to work out you know, how a system for doing this, how often I should do that, whether I should do this, whether I should do that. You don't need to do any of that. Our system will explain what you need to do. So I'm going to explain what I mean by that. I'm going to give you a little bit of what I call essential understanding. This is really just, it's not really understanding about the nuts and bolts of Clean Easy, but it's about a, a wider area of kind of developing yourself that, that um, will be very, very important. Um, and what I'm hoping to do is inspire you to get started on a bit of personal development. And I'll expand on that a little bit more. But basically, a good, great place to start is a little bit of reading. So, what do we mean when we say don't reinvent the wheel? When you're at school, you're normally told that copying is cheating. You know, if you're sat in an exam and you're watching what other people are doing and trying to copy what they're doing, that's cheating. You're supposed to invent it yourself. You're supposed to create your own uh, work. But in Clean Easy, it's completely the opposite. In Clean Easy, it's the route to success. We've been doing the business pretty much as it is now for the last 25 or 30 years. Clean Easy's been in business since 1923, but the, the catalogue side and the network marketing side, kind of 25 years or so, but long enough so that we know pretty much what works and what doesn't work. There's always new things. So, for example, the, the, the Facebook selling, which has really been massively active in the last six months or so, is obviously quite new. But again, there's so much help on that that you don't need to invent it yourself. So copying is the route to success in Clean Easy. So you may say, okay, that's all well and good, but what is that system that you should copy? And actually, it's really simple because if you follow these webinars or you go through the series of eight, everything that you learn on the webinars, you can copy. There's nothing unique about what we do. There may be a few minor differences between how your team might do it and how another team would do it and um, so speak to your upline for the, the if you like the, the your sponsor for the the final word as it were but if you don't have a sponsor who supports you very well and you're not quite sure what to do then if you follow this system you won't go far wrong um, as i've said there you don't need to reinvent the wheel however adding new ideas is good and six to nine months ago that's exactly what happened with facebook I remember going to webinars and people were saying, oh, don't waste your time you know, chatting to people on Facebook. That's not going to earn you any money. You need to be getting out there, delivering your catalogs and talking to people. 
and here we are six months later and people are making lots and lots of money on Facebook so it's great to look at new ideas but don't feel you always have to start from scratch so a great place to start is find somebody who is successful in the business and copy what they're doing and the person who can be successful could be your upline oh hello there John welcome to the webinar it could be your upline or it might be their upline the, the beauty of a network marketing business is that you will have probably four five six seven or eight people in your upline who are all there to help you get success uh, be successful so find somebody who you work really well with who will show you what they've done and what, what they've done and what, what's made them successful and work closely with them. And the other thing that you can find, and I find this really, really useful actually, is as well as your own upline, you can meet successful people at meetings who might not be directly in your upline. They can be cross-line, they can be just other people at meetings that you find you get on well with and you learn from them. So you know, study what successful people are doing Ask them questions. Everyone really appreciates in this business that the way to get on is to ask people how, what made them successful. How do they do this? How do they do that? And they'll share that with you and then you can copy them. Okay, I mentioned a little bit about some essential understanding. Um, there's a, a couple of books that I just wanted to recommend to you that I find really, really useful. When you first start doing Clean Easy, it's very easy to get kind of focused on um, and I need to get my catalogues in, and I need to get my catalogues out, and I need to get my orders in. You kind of go round and round in a circle like that. And sometimes it's useful just to take a bit of a, a, a kind of a, a half an hour or an hour or so out of your running your business. So instead of working in your business, you sometimes need to work on your business and on yourself. So I'm just going to recommend a couple of really good books that I think is a great place to get started to learn a bit more about other parts of what we all do. So it's really useful for you to understand the network marketing industry. Clean Easy is a network marketing business. We happen to have a range, a large range of products, and we sell the product, we retail the product through catalogues and online, but large incomes are built by building a network, a team. And so it's really useful to know how that works. So a couple of books I'm going to recommend to you, actually a book and a CD. So the first one is a book called The 45 Second Presentation by Don Fahler. Um, and that's a really, really good book. Neither of these are anything to do with Clean Easy. They're just to do with network marketing. But the Don Fahler book is great because it's got big words, lots of pictures, and it's a really small book. It's probably, I don't know, 40 or 50 pages, something like that. You can literally read through it in one session. And it just gives you a really good idea of the power of network marketing and the fact that you don't have to do it all yourself. Um, and then the other one, and this I've got to admit, this is a personal favourite of mine. There's a CD by a, a speaker called Jim Rohn, and it's called Building Your Network Marketing Business. And I find Jim just such a, a great person to listen to. He, he kind of reminds me of like a friendly old grandfather, if you can imagine that. Um, and he's just got a great way of talking about network marketing and how you find people and the fact that you know not everybody's going to stay in your business, not everybody's going to be successful. But you don't need to recruit a thousand successful people to make a decent income from this. And Jim kind of goes through that really, really well. So, um, The other thing it's useful for you to understand is a little bit about the Clean Easy Pay Plan. Now, you don't need to know every nook and cranny, every little bit about it. There's a, the, the Pay Plan is an enormous kind of model on how you earn money, how you, know, you earn money from your own sales, how you earn money when you recruit people. Um, and how when they make sales, how they can recruit people, and it's, it can be quite complicated if you try to understand it. What I would suggest is make sure you at least know a couple of steps away of, ahead of where you are now. So if you've just started, what's important is that you understand the commission. You earn 21%, around about 20, 21% commission on all of the products that you sell. There's a couple of exceptions that the K-Life products are at the moment, half of that, although that's changing to, to three quarters of, of that. Um, but just kind of understanding that different products have different um, commission values. So that's useful to, so that you know that. And that also, on top of the commission that you get from every item that you sell, 
at the, end, at the end of every period, clean easy, um, will pay you a bonus. Assuming that you hit certain targets, and your sponsor can explain the different levels, and you get different bonuses as you place more orders and as you recruit people who place orders. So you need to know what do I need to do to hit my first bonus. We call it the 10% bonus, but what do I need to do to hit that? What do I need to do to hit my 13% bonus? And work your way towards them. And as you're working towards those, you'll be growing and growing, and then you can start to find out about, ooh, what do I need to do to get the 15 or 18 or 24, and, and the other ones kind of gold and senior and so on. I'm not going to go through them in detail, as I said. Wherever you are in the business now, you know, make sure you know the next couple of steps, and you can find that out by speaking to your sponsor, the person who uh, recruited you into the business. And another really important thing, and as I said, that, that Jim Rohn CD that I mentioned at the beginning there, I found really, really invaluable at the beginning. Jim talks a lot about the fact that building a network marketing business, building your business, whether you just want to do the retail or, or you want to do team building as well, it's a numbers game. So from a very simple point of view, when you're putting catalogs out, the more catalogs you deliver, the more customers you will find and the bigger your income will be. Similar on Facebook, the more Facebook uh, posts you, you put in local groups, the more customers you have in your own private group, the more posts you put in that private group, the more sales you will make. And when you start uh, team building, the more leads you generate, the more team members you will find, and the bigger your income will be from that as well. So understanding that is really, really important. And as I said, if you haven't got that Jim Rohn CD, please you know, invest, I don't know where it is, five or six pounds, something like that. You can get it on Amazon. If you go to any of the local meetings or the millionaires' colleges, the regional meetings or the national meetings, you'll be able to get a copy of it there as well. There's a, a couple of phrases which I've come across over the past few years, which I find kind of the really, really simple phrases, but they kind of make you stop and think, and realize, actually, you know what, I could do more than this. Somebody once said to me at a, a training webinar, if you only do what you know you should do, you can achieve anything. And actually, that's so, so true. I, I mentioned at the beginning, once you've been in the business a couple of weeks, and you know how to put your catalogs out and collect them back in again, and you know how to place an order and deliver that to your customers, then you know that you can increase your income simply by doing more of that. And again, once you've been team building for a little while, you know how to generate leads, you know how to sponsor somebody into the business, you know how to support them. If you do more of that, then you'll be more successful. So that kind of made me think that quite often it's easy to think, oh, I need more training or I need more knowledge or I need more experience. But actually, if you just do more of what you know you should do, you will be very successful. Oh, sorry guys, sounds like there's a few of you ha having sound issues. Um, I'll, I'll persevere. I'm not sure if that's a technical problem at my end. It could be that the recording will be okay if it's an internet um, problem. But um, I'll try and carry on. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, sorry, Sean. I'm not sure. I can't really do very much about it, I'm afraid. Uh, hopefully, as I said, the recording will be a little bit better. <coughs> Um, Jim Rohn talks about working harder on yourself than you do on your job. Um, and basically what he means by that is, if you've got a job or a business, like Clean Easy, you can work really hard on it. You can put lots and lots of catalogs out. You can put um, do lots of lead generation. If you're doing a, a full-time job as well, you can kind of work really hard in your, your, your company and try and get promoted that way. But if you work harder on yourself, if you read some self-development books, if you understand where your strengths and weaknesses are and you work on those, then you can be so much so much more successful by working on yourself. And that's, that's a really kind of useful thing to bear in mind, I think. And to be honest, I'm kind of teaching to the con preaching, preaching to the converted a little bit because you guys are on here. You've invested some time to work on yourself. So well done to you all. Become a sponge for information. The more you know, the more you learn, the more successful you will be. So what I say is plug into a program of personal development. And um, I'll expand on that a little bit, but um, 
The most valuable skill set that you can learn from Cleanit isn't how to put a catalogue out or how to recruit somebody into your team. It's how to learn something new, how to read uh, an interesting book or a useful book, how to watch videos that, that educate you on, on different parts of the business or different parts of talking to people and communication skills and sharing the, the business and so on. Um, and how to listen to different things. As I said, that, that Jim Rohn CD, I must have listened to that I don't know, a dozen times, pretty much one after the other in the first couple of weeks when I got that because I just found it so fascinating. Um, webinar number eight, I talk a lot more about personal development and creating a little program to do that. So I'm not going to go to it in too much detail now. Um, we'll do Webinar eight is in a couple of weeks' time. But as I said earlier, if you're keen to go straight to that, then go to the recordings, which I'll explain in a minute where they are, and uh, you can find out where they all are. Or you can find that particular webinar if you want to. Um, and going to meetings, I find absolutely invaluable. Uh, I've been to, because I've, I've lost count, hundreds of local meetings, the millionaires, colleges I go to, the national conferences. You never know. The longer you've been in the business, the more useful you find them because you never know when you're going to come across your next golden nugget. That could just be, and often it is, something that somebody says and you've heard it a dozen times before and you thought you understood it and then somebody explains it just in a slightly different way and suddenly something clicks and you think, oh God, yeah, you know what, I've been doing it wrong all this time or, you know, I, just, I never really realised how important that w was. And you suddenly start focusing on something slightly different and it can transform your business. So, um, as I say, if you go to as many of the meetings as you can, you will be successful. There's a great phrase, um, or is it, if um, successful people, if you go to the meetings, no, hold on, I'll get this right in a minute, only successful people go to meetings, but, oh, I can't remember what it is now, I'll, I'll remember it the next time. Somebody must know where it is, you can, you can type it in for me. Okay, I, I talked about essential reading and listening, and there's a, a, a list here. I'm not going to go through them all in detail. I'm just going to highlight a couple of the ones that I found particularly useful. I'm going to go through the ones that I've highlighted in blue there. So the, the 45 second presentation I talked about, um, there's a couple here, the slight edge and the compound effect, which are very similar. I'm going to expand on those in a moment, and a couple of others. So. Um, I'll just go through those in a bit more detail now and please feel free to make a note of these and, and think of a couple that you, you'd like to kind of invest a, a bit of your time reading on. So I've talked about this Jim Rohn CD. It's basically all about his philosophies on network marketing. Um, I think it was the first one I ever listened to and it's probably still one of my favourites. I still enjoy listening to it now and I get things out of it every time. I think if you listen to it from end to end it's less than an hour probably 45, 50 minutes, something like that. So um, it's, I find that really, really useful. Um, and if you do like Jim Rohn, then I found this one really useful as well. It's called Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness. So it's a book rather than a CD. Um, and it really talks about goal setting. It talks a bit about investment um, and his life philosophies. And, and you'll see in webinar seven and eight, I talk a bit about life philosophies. When, when I first started reading his stuff, I thought, oh, I have no idea what a philosophy is. You know, I'd, I'd never kind of understood about philosophy. It sounded like some highfalutin thing that, that you know, people at university study. That it didn't mean anything to me. But the, once you start to read about it and how it can influence the success of your business, I realized how important it was. So that's a great place to start if you want to think about, uh, think about that. Um, there's a couple of really good books here. Um, I found them, basically they had the same story behind them. So you can read one or both of them, which, whichever you prefer. Um, one's called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson, and the other's called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And basically, the, the gist of the two books is, it's not the big decisions that you make every kind of six months or year that determine whether you're successful or not. It's the little ones that you make every day. Um, and as I think there's examples in both books. As an example, if you're trying to lose weight and become a bit healthier, you could choose every morning to eat an apple or to eat a chocolate bar. And the following day, suppose you decide oh, I'm going to have a chocolate bar today, the following day you won't be unhealthy and have put on lots of weight and feel ill. 
And the day after that you probably won't. And the day after that you probably won't. But if you keep eating chocolate bars every single day, you will gradually put on weight and you know, you'll have sugar problems and, and it'll just gradually get worse and worse. If you eat an apple one day, you don't suddenly wake up the next morning with loads of energy and feeling kind of healthy and, and, and fantastic. But then the next day, maybe a little bit better, the day after that, the day after that, what you'll find is if you continue to eat that apple every day instead of the chocolate bar, then the, the final results are a much healthier attitude, a much healthier diet, a much healthier, you know, um, all sorts of, of benefits in your life. So just that little decision that's really easy to make, if you repeat that every day, that will make a big difference. And that's just an example with your health. There are lots of examples about, you know, your finances and your education and all sorts of things. So those are two books I totally recommend. Um, here's another one. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this. Some people say it's a bit hard to read because it is this kind of kind of small small print and it's quite a big book. Um, it's a chap called Dale Carnegie and it's the book's called How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, and the gist of it is... Be nice to people. It's amazing what you get in return. This this book was written back in the, the 1930s, I think, in the, in the kind of an American era of you know large steel industry and so on. And he was Dale was going around as a salesman trying to sell products to these large company sort of buyers and um, and really really struggling. And then he kind of studied how better salesmen did it. And he realised that what they do is they don't just go in and try and sell something. They learn about the people they're talking to and they take an interest in what they're interested in and by being nice to them and trying to understand them he found he was making far more sales without even having to do any kind of selling um, in a way he was just taking an interest in them and they were sort of saying oh this sounds like a nice chap come on then let me know what you've got and then obviously he was, he was making a lot of sales so that's a, that's a really interesting book about you know what I would say is it's kind of like a life philosophy. This this idea of being nice to people. You don't have to sell, sell, sell all the time. Um, okay, the the bottom one on that page there. Um, I like this one as well. This is uh, by an author called Darren Hardy, who I, I really like. And um, and this is a, a really interesting kind of book. It's actually a workbook. It's called Design Your Best Year Ever, and it's just I found it a really really good book to help with goal setting. And the idea of the book is. Um, if you decide over the next 12 months, and it doesn't have to be a calendar year, you don't have to read it kind of on the 1st of January, um, any, from now for the next 12 months, you can set a goal for what you want to achieve. And basically, this is a workbook that helps you break that down into smaller chunks. So you then have kind of monthly targets and weekly steps and daily activities that help you achieve that goal at the end of the year. And so if you're interested in goal setting, and I, and I recommend you do find out about it, then that's a great place to, to work from. Um, this one, uh, this is a really interesting book about temperament and emotion and uh, your, how understanding how your brain works. So this is called The Chimp Paradox by a chap called Steve Peters. Steve Peters was um, well known for kind of pretty much, along with a few other people, transforming the British cycling team. So British cycling on the track you know, 10, 15 years ago, wasn't very successful at all. And then basically over four to eight years became like the powerhouse of, of Olympic cycling, winning loads and loads of gold medals. And obviously there's lots of other people involved, but for the, the elite athletes, most of them said they kind of really transformed their own performances by understanding what stressed them out just before an event and how they worried about things and, and how they were kind of thinking about things that they couldn't control and stuff. So um, you may not be an Olympic athlete, but if you can understand what makes you angry or frustrated or emotional, then this is a great book for telling you how to deal with it and how to understand what other people are thinking if, if you're dealing with people who are getting upset or angry or emotional. So I find that really useful book. Okay. Ah, oh, Sue Marshall, thank you very much. Not everyone who attends meetings is successful, but everyone who is successful attends meetings. That's what I was trying to bring to mind. Thank you very much, Sue. So, if you go to meetings, there's no guarantee that you won't be successful. However, if you don't go to any meetings, I can pretty much guarantee that you won't be successful. So, thank you for that. Okay. 
just kind of coming towards the end now. Sorry, this has been a bit. I know there's a few technical glitches at the beginning and the sound was going on and off, so it hasn't been the smoothest webinar. But hopefully you guys kind of got the gist of it. And as I said, hopefully if it was just an internet issue, the recording will be will be fine. So I'll I'll put the recording up in a moment and show you where that is. So can you remember at the beginning I said you should work harder on yourself than you do on your can you remember? On your business, yeah, Dave, job, job, yeah, Abu Bakor, thank you for that. Business, good, good, yeah. So basically, working on yourself is so valuable and it will take you a lot further than just working on your business all the time or your job. Okay, of those books that I went through, is there any there that people have, either if you've already read or listened to them that you really, really enjoyed, or if you haven't yet, was there any there that you, you thought, oh, that sounds interesting, I might go for that? Yeah, Dave really liked that chimp paradox. Yeah, Andrew and Amanda, Jim Rohn, I totally agree with that. Yeah, two really good books there. Okay, Abubakar, I would recommend you try and get one. You know, just, just find one that you think you can cope with, a CD if, if you do a lot of driving. Um, that would be, I think that would be a great one to, to get into. Yeah, Nikki, that's a really good book. I really like that. Good, good. Yeah, GoPro, Abu Bakr, that's excellent. That's a really good book, so I'm glad you've read that one. Yeah, it's not on my list, uh, and that's a good point. It's it's missing. Okay, thanks, guys. So, just to summarise what we covered in, in this evening's webinar, we talked a bit about learn and follow the system. You don't need to invent the, the wheel. You don't need to start from scratch and not sure, be sure what to do. Just... Learn the system. If you're not sure what the system is, speak to your upline or just you know, watch the recordings of these webinars. You won't go far wrong. Um, I explained a bit about essential understanding, understanding a bit about the network marketing industry, um, understanding um, a bit about the clean easy pay plan so you know what the next steps are. That's really, really important. Um, and I do really recommend that you, I, this is probably the biggest thing I've ever got out of joining Clean Easy, and that is this idea of, of developing yourself. Learning more about yourself and how you deal with difficult situations and so on will, will take you an awful long way. So hopefully you've got some good recommended reading from that. Okay, so that was number six. So next week we're talking about goals and attitude. Um, and as I said, uh, these are all recorded. So I'm just going to turn off the recording now.